he said that the reason that he has preferred white women is because of the fact that it, it has been seen as taboo. Hey beautiful people, how y'all doing today? So I got Destiny here and welcome back to my channel. So this video is a very interesting video and I feel like you guys should see it. So this video is about an interracial woman calling out a black dad and white mom out for colorism and being fetishized. And it was really interesting to hear what she has to say. And she said she had had this conversation with both her parents and she just brought on that, oh, this is all colorism and fetishizing of each other. That's what led them. Anyway, guys, I need you guys to hear what she said and then we'll talk. Okay, so I wanted to take a second to address this in a video because I have a lot to say about it. Um, and I think this is fantastic for the conversation. So my dad is a very black man who... Um, mostly has predominantly dated only white women, including my mom and my other siblings, my other half siblings, all their moms are white. So I have asked him before during many of conversations that we've had about this particular topic. Mind you, my dad is kind of a looney tune <laughs> in general. He's just a very eccentric individual, but he, um, he said that the reason that he has preferred white women is because of the fact that it, has been seen as taboo and that you are perceived as you were especially back in like the 90s and stuff when they first got together I'm trying to figure out a way to say it properly but black men were perceived as oh damn you got a white girl like that's you know that's cool and because interracial marriage was forbidden and illegal and extremely taboo for centuries and has only been legalized and deemed as socially acceptable since like the 1960s in the civil rights movement, um, you know, it, it has been after that, you know, it was sort of seen as like, oh, now we can date white girls. Like, you know what I'm saying? So now it's just like you know, cool sort of thing, you know, black men have kind of put white women up on this pedestal because they were always told, no, you can't have those apples. So now that they can, and, and also told that those apples were better than the other apples, right? That those were the good apples. So they kind of put, not all black men, especially not nowadays, but there's a lot of black men that do this. They put white women up on this pedestal, um, you know, which is why sometimes you'll see like a black man with a very basic white girl, but like the black girls or the, you know, um, women of color he dates are like, they have to be insanely gorgeous and they have way higher standards of beauty and like women of color than they do for white women. He also has stated that, you know, in his perspective, that white women would take care of him and pay for him and were less demanding than black women. You know, and I have very much educated both of them on colorism and fetishization and things like that. They, they both for sure fetishized each other. <laughs> you know, my mom for sure had like a white savior mentality when it came to my dad, which is why she stayed with him for so many years, despite the fact he was extremely abusive. Um, but yeah, I've taught, we've talked to both of them. I've talked to both of them about this, my, me and my siblings, um, but that's what she said. Let me know what you think about what the interracial lady said and what this black woman said about interracial and black men and white women kind of means. For me, I just find it really, really interesting. And the fact that, yeah, these interracial children are having this conversation with their parents and they are talking about, okay, dad, mom, I guess you guys are were just having fetish for each other. You guys had issues. And I think you guys, I feel like it's really interesting because I feel like, both parties, uh, white black men, they are not, or even black women, white men, they are not, uh, they are not willing to accept it. I'm not saying that you can find love interracially. Don't get me wrong. I think you can find genuine love interracially, but some people, some people that get into such relationship is out of fetishize. Some people is because they feel like it will make them feel better. We saw the video of the uh, white. Um, the Colombians don't consider themselves black. We saw what they were saying. Like, there's something they call, like, cleaning the lineage. Like, you're trying to clean the black so that the black is more, like, white. 
you get what I'm saying? So it's really interesting to have, I feel like this interracial children are having with their parents. And then what the woman was saying that, oh, they was how the system worked. The white men put black men in a position where they can end and then they started training their um, daughters at them. Um, I feel like it's a decision of the black man because you know, as much as the white people, they also want to control us and they be able to manipulate us to think a certain way, to feel like our black skin, it's not good enough. At the same time, it's also as an individual, we need to educate and love ourselves for us to say, okay, this is the person I have feelings for. This is the person I'm going to go with. Not feeling like you win a trophy when you're with another race. You get what I'm saying? Anyway, guys, go ahead and share your thoughts on this video down in the comment section. I would like, love to know what you think about this entire discussion. I know I've been blabbing. Okay. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Share this video with somebody that you want to be part of this conversation. And with that all said, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Deuces.